Welcome back to part two in a series of four altogether covering the 25th annual Emerald Coast Poker Run from the Florida Panhandle. This is Stu Jones with the Florida Powerboat Club. And when we left off before, we were just getting started with this Emerald Coast Poker Run and all of the activities for Boat Week, which led up to the Saturday Poker Run. Let's get out on the waters and have some fun with our fellow boaters with the hopes of winning that brand new Ford F-150 pickup truck sponsored by Hub City Ford and that new Harley-Davidson motorcycle from Emerald Coast Harley-Davidson. Now we're back at the docks at AJ's, and it's uh, it's not the official start until Brandy and Kayla are on board our official Midnight Express sponsor boat and uh, putting on their life jackets for their first Emerald Coast poker run. So we've got a nice gang on board today. Uh, I'm going to be up in the helicopter with David Steele. We'll be shooting video and stills, of course. Uh, this is the one event that I do like to get in the chopper and uh, chase down all the boats for some great photos for the magazine and for the website. Meantime, we've got... Uh, uh, several cameras loaded up. This is R.J. Murdoch on board the Midnight Express. He's our local videographer. Uh, we also have a drone flying locally, and we've got some GoPros plastered up around on other boats. So we're going to have some great camera angles here on this beautiful Saturday for the 25th anniversary of the Emerald Coast Poker Run. And you can see that already this early in the morning, uh, Destin Harbor and, of course, Crab Island is coming to life quickly. Uh, because everybody is funneling out onto the poker run course and getting ready for the start of the run. And today's special at Crab Island is the Hot Boiled Peanuts. That's going to be our lunch special here at Crab Island today during the poker run. But uh, just a little bit of fun with you guys because Crab Island, obviously, there's a lot going on. Let's talk about the poker run course. There's going to be a lot of boats out there today. It's still early, so the course is not too jammed up. But this is just the start of the run. I can assure you by 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock this afternoon, Crab Island will be very, very congested around here with all kinds of boats going in all different directions. For the most part, starting off here and heading eastbound, uh, and we got Ken Milstead's going to be our kickoff boat here with this uh, 40-foot skater. Uh, and the eastbound direction is because, as we've outlined on the course, we'd like everybody to go over and do that uh, Joe's Bayou checkpoint and then head down to San Destin on the southeast corner of the Choctahatchee Bay. So that seems to be the direction that everyone's going, and that's certainly the direction that our Midnight Express pace boat is going to be headed. And it's only a hop, skip, and a jump before we get into Joe's Bayou uh, for our first poker run card. Still waiting on the start of our helicopter. Meanwhile, we'll just get some footage uh, from our boat-to-boat -boat camera. And this gives us a chance to just mill around uh, at the checkpoints and uh, wave to some of our fellow Poker Run teams. And one thing you will see on the Emerald Coast Poker Run is a lot of fountains. Definitely one of the top producing events in terms of seeing a lot of fountains of all different sizes from 27 all the way up to 47 feet. Uh, pulling up now to Trip Tolbert's house. Uh, I can be pretty certain that Trip's not on the dock, but I want to thank Trip and the Tolbert family for their continued support of this event. Obviously, the Ramada Fort Walton Beach is their commercial enterprise that's a participant here, and the Tolbert residence here is on Joe's Bayou, and uh, they've got a huge dock, which makes it a perfect stopover point uh, for a poker card. I love that big barge. They have that new video barge. I guess it's kind of like a work boat that some guy said, you know what? I'm going to make some money putting some video ads up there. And they actually volunteered the boat uh, to put up video footage and, you know, some logos of our event. And I thought that was kind of nice of them. So thanks, guys, uh, for that big video barge or that big video work boat that's uh, been on display at Joe's Bayou. Lots of teams uh, pulling up to the dock. One thing I do want to caution you, when you pull up to get your poker card, standing on the deck of the boat and you pick the person with the best sea legs, obviously, or in this case, the best bikini, uh, thanks to Kayla. Put away from our uh, dock workers here at the Tolbert residence. Thanks, guys. And uh, back on the Midnight Express 
heading now uh, further eastbound to San Destin for our next poker card. And you notice that uh, everybody is putting on their life jackets. That's a big high five to the Midnight Express crew for following our safety guidelines. Choppers up in the air as we're flying again now with the Timberview helicopters from Destin Airport. What I like about this situation is that when we get up in the air, we are immediately on the poker run course in a matter of about 60 seconds. So I like this venue for that reason, and it gives us a chance to get immediately right on top of the boat. So here we are now joining from the air this time, Eric Glazer from Team Midnight Express. Uh, he brought this 39 to run on the event, and he's been a big sponsor with the club this year, uh, bringing a lot of these Midnight Express center consoles to our poker runs. This particular model is powered by triple Mercury Verado 350s. Now let's welcome Mike and Christy Fuquay from Tennessee, 37-foot active thunder uh, on the run. They're uh, big supporters of this event. They've been here many times, but uh, usually it's in their own boat, which is a sensation. But uh, they got a buddy to come along with the 37 active thunder. They registered and paid for the team. So they're riding in their buddy's boat this weekend. Uh, 37 active thunder uh, with that big monster step boat built right here in Pompano Beach, just a few miles from the FPC headquarters. Something you'll notice now as you look around uh, forward in the Bay Area and you see the Mid-Bay Bridge off in the distance, but now we're into this really big open water. And that's why we like to stress this open water run uh, in Choctahatchee Bay, especially heading eastbound. Because once you reach the Mid-Bay Bridge and then just continue towards Sandestin, you've got several miles of open water. And whether you're in a center console with outboards or a performance V-bottom or even a fast cat, there's nothing better than just pushing those throttles forward and running and feeling the wind. And, and remember, it's in the middle of August and it's hot out there. So uh, this is your built-in air conditioning. And it's a good chance also to get some great helicopter coverage and some nice aerials as we move up on these two boats, uh, Fountain alongside this Donzi. Let's begin by welcoming the White Fountain now. This is Mark and Lana Albert from Texas who have been on the Emerald Coast uh, Poker Run many times running their 35-foot fountain powered by twin Mercury Racing 525s. In their video bio, uh, Mark was a man of very few words, and you got to like this. Uh, his most favorite thing about power boating is fast boats and hot girls. And he, we asked him to tell us something about his boat. He said, yeah, it's got 525s, and it's named after his wife, and the boat is called Lickalonopus. So I will leave that with you guys to figure out the rest. <laughs> Good having you guys back, and I uh, hope you have a fun and safe day out there. Now we're catching up with Raleigh and Carol Trotter and their 33-foot Donzi team, Fourth Dimension. They got a couple of friends on board, and uh, it's not their first rodeo. They've been on Emerald Coast Poker Run several times. I love the video bio that I got from Raleigh on a question of uh, if you attended before, what made you come back? His words were simply the fun and the water. We asked him to tell us something about his boat, and he wrote down the word boat. Well, we know that it's a boat, that's for sure. But I love this. What's your favorite thing about power boating? He said one word, boobs. Gotta love you, Raleigh, man. You are <laughs> you are just a man after my heart. <laughs> anyway, let's work on that video bio next time because I know you got a lot to tell us. But uh, thanks for joining us at the Emerald Coast Poker Run. And now it's time to say hi to Jonathan and Tracy Saucier from Louisiana. 36-foot Baja Team Flirtatious, and uh, they've been on this run many, many times, and uh, I've actually joined them in their boat recently at the Smoke and the Sound Poker Run earlier this year. In their video bio, they told us they brought along Jeff and Victoria Kent, along with Lacey and Chad Pyle. 
We asked them something about their boat. They replied they've owned it since it's new. It's their baby. It has a large cockpit and plenty of space for all their friends. One more time with uh, Frankie and Molly Tubbs in their 38-foot fountain. Looks like they're running great today. And thumbs up for wearing those life jackets. Time now to welcome Mark and Eileen Fisher and their 36-foot deep impact powered by quad. That's right, four Mercury 400 Verados, giving it the highest amount of horsepower, 1,600 horsepower on a 36 making it indeed one of the fastest 36 deep impacts ever built. We saw a little bit of this boat running uh, yesterday out for the fun run. Uh, back again today as they head eastbound across the Choctahatchee Bay towards Sandestin for their next checkpoint. They've been big sponsors with the event. You're going to see a lot more of these boats on poker runs, especially their new 399 model. We don't have any of those registered here at Emerald Coast, but we do have a bunch registered for the Key West poker run. So you're going to see plenty more of those boats in coming FPC video productions. Uh, there's a great shot from the stern quarters of that deep impact with quad Mercury Verado 400s. Let's welcome back Kevin Kurkowski all the way from Texas along with his first mate Glenda riding on board. Uh, he loves coming back to the Emerald Coast because it's a great destination. He missed last year and reminded us that it was because he was redoing the boat completely. New graphics, repowered with Mercury Racing 525s. You gotta love it. Here's a 1997 foot fountain that is looking and running as good as it was new. So, uh, you know what, Kevin? You keep giving your boat love and it'll give it right back to you. Thanks for joining us and uh, we hope to see you back next year for the 2018 event. Now let's welcome Todd and Alicia Kirkland who came over from uh, the Georgia area, Gainesville, Georgia, where they boat on Lake Lanier. They're running their uh, 2004 32 foot Sensation Dominator and they tell us that it's a his hers situation. His is the Sensation and hers is a 1998 Baja 36 Outlaw with a pair of HP 500s. Uh, they came to the event before, but uh, this is the first time that they brought their own boat. What they love about power boating is the camaraderie with other like-minded boaters and running in groups to go out and have lunch or dinner on the water. Now let's welcome Nate and Robin Michelle from Louisiana. Not their first rodeo. They've been here so many times. I've lost count. I'm sure they have too. And they've brought a lot of different boats, but this Mojo 40-foot MTI is a one-off, one-of-a-kind and I love it. Uh, we first saw this boat years ago. It came to the Key West Poker Run and was on display in the Poker Run Village. Obviously the movie boat uh, from that uh, Miami Vice remake with uh, Colin Farrell as the star. So if you like the look of this boat, enjoy it while you can because the next time you see it, it's gonna be completely different, Nate tells me. Can't wait to see the new look. Now let's say hi to Mark and Diana Santos uh, from Texas. Again, uh, these guys are poker run veterans like many of the teams that are here. They said it's a great event and what keeps bringing them back, they said FPC runs a great event. Thank you so much for the kind words. Uh, they had along with them a whole boatload of people. If we get closer, you'll see they've got Travis and Tim and Heather and it looks like Tracy and uh, Jonathan and we might count a couple more there, but I think Mark, it's time for a bigger boat. <laughs> Now we're catching up with Wayne and Taryn Bowlers from Texas in their 36-foot concept, uh, triple 275 outboards. And uh, we met them last summer here at the Emerald Coast Poker Room. They were in the Ruby class. 
but I took them for a ride on my Ocean Hawk center console, my 33. Uh, they loved it. They fell in love with that style of boat, and they ended up buying this concept, which is great. They said that they picked it up last fall, and they've enjoyed learning so many different ways to use the boat, from diving to fishing and now doing poker runs. So nice to have you guys. And uh, just so you know, I did sell that Ocean Hawk to a guy right there in Fort Walton Beach, John Reinhold, the co-founder of this event. Quick shot of our friends uh, Scott and Monica James in Slippery When Wet. We saw a lot of them earlier in the show, and there's plenty more to come later on. James and Audra Bohannon are all the way from Texas and uh, not their first rodeo with the club. Of course, they have done this event many times also. I believe the first time was with their friends in a Fountain Center console. Then they purchased a Nortec 36 Supercat, and I think I was there when they took delivery of this 44 MTI Hammer Time at the Texas Outlaw Challenge about four years ago. So that means they've been enjoying this MTI for a few years. I love the look of the boat. They obviously are loving it too because they've been hanging on to it. Thanks uh, for coming back, guys. Good to have you here on the Emerald Coast Poker Run. Be sure to come back for 2018. Here's another one-off boat. The only place you'll see this boat is on the Emerald Coast Poker Run. Uh, Team Max Bitter, Jason Birdwell from Mississippi and his brother. A 40-foot profile. There was only a few of these ever built and only a couple of them left on the poker run circuit today. Uh, we've got two of them in the club, but we, uh, we think that Max Bitter stands alone with this incredible paint job. Got about 15 different colors and a nice bikini girl on the front. You got to love that. Good to have you guys back, and I hope to see you back next year with this uh, 40 profile team, Max Bitter. And uh, running right alongside Max Bitter is this 25-foot eliminator, Robert Keyes from Mississippi, team stress relief. And you got to love this boat. It's a bow rider, so uh, you got room for at least two up front. And if you look closely, you look it looks like everybody's a little bit young on this crew. Well, that's his whole family. And I really have to commend this crew because they attended the Smoking the Sound Poker Run earlier this year, went out in the Gulf of Mexico, and they were bouncing around, and uh, they were just hanging on for their dear life. Uh, talk about hold the handrail firmly. And they went on to win that poker run, uh, so congratulations to them. And uh, nice to see you guys here in these nice calm bay waters enjoying the Emerald Coast Poker Run. And a one-of-a-kind, a 43-foot a Nortex Supercat, uh, Hugh Petroni Sr. from Pensacola in Team Wayne Nuts. Uh, this is a boat that made its poker run debut here at the Emerald Coast uh, back in 2003. So turn the page forward. It's another uh, 14 years later. Uh, now is uh, proudly owned by Hugh Petroni. And uh, this was Chet Huffman's uh, boat at one time with uh, Chet Huffman Motorsports. But this boat has been so well maintained. It's got that towed paint job on it. It's one of a kind, and uh, I'm glad that Hugh is enjoying the boat. And here's another Nortec uh, brought from a different generation, uh, more recent time. Greg Bent here from Louisiana in his 39-foot Nortec Center Console Team A team, uh, representing Nortec as a factory sponsor. Of course, Greg is a dealer for Nortec and has been for a very, very long time. Uh, he was also one time a fountain dealer as well. But uh, Greg has been a veteran of this event for many years. Uh, not too far for him to come over across the panhandle to join us. And he's got a big crew on board today in this 39, which appears to be powered by Yamaha outboards. Uh, that's a sign of his, uh, his fishing background. Uh, obviously, fishing guys love Yamahas, uh, but we don't see a lot of these Yamaha outboards on the Nortex these days. Now we're catching up with uh, Doug and Kathleen Brogdon from Alabama in their 32-foot Glassstream center console, a pair of Mercury outboards. It's their first time on this Emerald Coast Poker Room with this new boat, and uh, a very popular boat up here in the Florida Panhandle in the southern states. Why? Because A.L. Kirkland and his crew, they build them right there in Panama City Beach. Well, they say that birds of a feather flock together, and that's exactly what's happening right here. These two glass streams running side by side. This one by AL and Cruz Kirkland, and that's because they actually represent 
the Glass Stream Factory in Panama City Beach. And this is the mothership, a 36 center console powered by triple Mercury 400R. So this is the flagship of the Glass Stream fleet and uh, locals here to the event. They've attended many times and it's nice to have you guys back. And it seems like you're being better represented than ever before, seeing more of these Glass Stream models out here on these Poker Run events. It doesn't get much better than this. If you want to own a nice cigarette, Scott Favre's 42 Cigarette X, powered by Mercury Racing 1100s. It's called Never Enough, and I think that's because he likes to go fast. It's just never enough. But I can assure you, this boat is plenty fast, and it would be enough for me. So <laughs> one day, Scott, when I grow up. But I uh, love the lines. I uh, love the look, and uh, you can tell that he's getting on the throttle. As soon as that chopper comes down, he wants to go fast, and he wants to put on a good show. One day soon, we hope to join them for a poker run in Orange Beach, Alabama, where Scott does a lot of his boating. And it's another cigarette. This one, uh, a very rare 36 Gladiator model. And when I say rare, I mean, they did build quite a few of these, but I just don't see any of them around anymore. Uh, this is one of the few left in the club, Don House, along with his lady Jennifer in this uh, 36 Gladiator. And uh, it's a good looking boat, and you can see it's a very small little cockpit, so you gotta be really cozy with your friends in this boat. Room for five, and it's basically just sit down and shut up and enjoy the ride. No bathroom, no amenities. It's a sports car when it comes to power boating, very much like a small cat. Now let's welcome uh, one of our local teams, well, fairly local. Don Allen is from Alabama, so uh, just next door in his 42-foot Hydrosports team, Lucky Lady. Uh, I think it's the first time we've seen this boat on the Emerald Coast Poker Run, and you can see that the center console thing is working out great for, for this crew. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, possibly nine people on board with plenty of room for more. Back now with another cigarette team and one that we've seen many times here on this event, Cass Schubert from Texas, 38-foot cigarette Top Gun Team Liquid Prozac, pair of uh, Mercury Racing 525s. And I know that Cass has spent a lot of time and money just keeping this boat uh, really, really up to snuff and in ship shape. He redid all the dash and uh, all the interior recently and uh, made it really sweet. But he's also got another boat at home, Triple uh, X, uh, Outer Limits 47. and. I don't know, I think he's doing a whole bunch of work on that too. In the meantime, let's just go take that cigarette out and have some fun. Okay, for you fountain lovers out there, it's another fountain fix. This is Danny and Amy Barnett from Texas. 38-foot fountain uh, team long shot. I believe it has Mercury Racing 525s and uh, pretty much uh, looks like they're just having a nice ride today. Boat's running great and uh, thumbs up, guys for wearing those life jackets uh, to follow our safety guidelines. Uh, thanks for joining us on the Emerald Coast Poker Run. Hope you can make it back again for 2018. Arriving now at uh, checkpoint number two, which is Sandestin. Uh, the marina is called Baytown Wharf. Uh, not much opportunity for the chopper to get some shots right now, so let's get back in the cockpit with Eric Glazer and the Midnight Express uh, pace boat and give you guys a feeling of what it's like to be right here on the run, uh, boat to boat, and uh, waving off at all the crews. And I know that uh, it's pretty hot out here today, but unfortunately this is the one part of the course where we have to come off plane and idle in. It's quite a long stretch of idle speed zone. It's probably, you know, more than a half a mile long. So it takes a good 10 minutes uh, each way to idle in and then idle back out. So uh, it is, if nothing else, then a great chance to be close to the other boats. And probably the only time in the poker run where you're this close to all the other boats and passing by. So it's a good time to get the camera out and uh, take a couple of shots and uh, wave at your fellow poker runners. And it looks very, very lonely out here at the very end of the uh, pier at Baytown Wharf. And it's a long walk out to the end. And I'm guessing that <laughs> some of the people are still on the walk because there's only one dock worker here right now handing off this card to uh, Greg Tolson and his crew on the Sensation 32. 
But I know that we had a bunch more people slated to be out here to be a part of this, so it's all a timing issue. And here they are. There's the rest of the gang. Now there's about eight or ten of them out here. Uh, to hand off the cards as Octavio in his 47-foot Outer Limits pulls up for a card. Thanks to Kayla. She's uh, representing boat number 42, the Midnight Express Pace Boat. And they are playing the game, too, as they pull up. And it looks like Brandy is going to be the recipient of this Lucky Poker Run card today. I think I know what's going on in the minds of these guys here right now. They're like, well, it was a long walk out here, Fred, but I think it was worth the trip, you know. I borrowed my kid's iPhone. I think I got a couple of pictures there. Right, let's take a look and see what we got. Nice to see uh, Team Black Diamond coming up with the 52 MTI. And it looks like she just barely fits between those pilings and the dock. So good navigation and driving there by Captain John and Derek uh, as they pull these big cats in. And here's James Bohannon from Texas in that 44 MTI Team Hammer Time. And uh, as we get a better angle, yeah, you see they only got a couple of feet of clearance uh, going through there. And we are back out on the Poker Run course now as we can see the great conditions continuing. Very, very light winds today as we focus in now on Robbie Ula from Georgia in his 30-foot uh, glass stream, a pair of Mercury outboards. So once again, we saw a couple of glass stream center consoles earlier, uh, but this, of course, is a sport deck model that is one of the popular models, I understand. And Robbie has just loved this boat. We met him last year on this event here at Emerald Coast, and he's done a couple of poker runs with us since. Let's say hi now to Greg Tolson and his crew on Addictive Behavior, 32-foot Sensation, uh, twin 496HOs, and a boat that's ideal for these waterways, but also it's a rugged, rough water boat, and he's proven that by taking the boat all the way to Cuba and back with us back in 2016. Uh, we were in six to seven-foot seas both ways. It was a rough ride, but uh, alongside in my 33 Ocean Hawk and Greg beside me in his Sensation, we toughed it out and got to Cuba and home safely. But uh, nice to have Greg and his crew riding on board as Sven Tuber from Fast Lane Travel. Let's say hi to Lance and Paula Pantapinto from Louisiana. Also Lance Jr. and his girlfriend on board. 30-foot Baja called Team A Flying High. They drag the Baja here behind the RV every year and they've been great supporters of this event. Thanks for coming again, guys. We'll see you next year too. Moving up along the course now over to the north side of the Choctahatchee Bay area. I see a rooster tail off there in the distance. And we are appointing the boat right here to Boggy Bayou with our next checkpoint at Niceville. And this is a spectator group that always sits here on this sandbar every year right at the entrance to Boggy Bayou. And here's where we're headed for checkpoint number three is Emerald Coast Marine Center in Niceville, formerly the North Light Yacht Club. Looks like Kayla is getting ready on the Midnight Express to pick up another poker card. And they got a nice setup here on the docks. Good theme going. Got the tent up and a good crew. And here comes another poker card. Better put that in a safe place, Kayla, so you don't lose it. Got to play with all nine cards to get the best chances at the final table. Now, if you're following along with the Poker Run course map, we're actually exiting Boggy Bayou now back out into the Bay Waters. And we're now going to continue westbound on the course to the northwest corner of Choctahatchee Bay, which brings us into Shalimar. And we're going to be visiting the Shalimar Yacht Basin, which is one of the longest running checkpoints for the Emerald Coast Poker Run. In fact, if I can recall, I think it's been every year for the last 20 years or so. It's a big, huge marina, uh, a large basin, easy to get in and out of. Uh, you just idle in and work your way up to the dock, get your card. As you can see here, there's... Manny Roman in his bright yellow fluorescent uh, motion center console. Uh, quad Mercury Verados as they reach out for their Poker Run voucher. Let's talk a little bit about the cards and how we're playing today. Altogether, there are nine checkpoints on the Emerald Class course, and they will range all the way from Sandestin at the east end to Pensacola Beach on the west end. Right now, we're at checkpoint number four, um, not quite halfway through the course, but here at Shalimar, we're getting a, a voucher. In fact, all of the checkpoints, it's just a voucher that you accumulate, and we're going to turn your vouchers in at the party Saturday night for your actual Poker Run cards. 
then it's from those cards that we're going to determine how well you do, how good of a hand you get, and whether or not you will make it to the final table where you will play out against eight other competitors who have made their way to the final table as well. Now remember, there are going to be two final tables altogether this year. That's a change from previous years. The first table is going to be the Ruby Class table where they're going to play out for the Emerald Coast Harley-Davidson. Uh, that's going to be the Harley 750 Street. That's going to be the grand prize. And the Emerald Class table is going to be for that uh, F-150, that Ford pickup truck sponsored by Hub City Ford. And this is a good time now to wrap it up uh, for episode number two in our complete coverage of the Emerald Coast Poker Run 2017. Uh, when we come back, we'll be heading westbound on the course for checkpoints number five through nine. Lots of great action here on the Emerald Coast Poker Run. This is Stu Jones with Florida Powerboat Club, and we'll be back with more coverage of this exciting 25th anniversary of the Emerald Coast Poker Run from the Florida Panhandle. <laughs>